Hi, today we are discussing the interview topics regarding maplets. Maplets are said to be reusable objects which simplify mapping by including multiple transformations and source definitions. Not required to connect to all input and output ports. Accept data from sources and pass to multiple transformations. Well, overall, when it is required to reuse the mapping logic, then the logic should be placed in maplet. So the maplet can be reused, reused in the maplet designer. So we will here we will use this all the uh, set things. Here include multiple transformation and source definitions. Here we include multiple transformations as well as source definitions and not required to connect to all the input and output ports. So here we don't no, no need to give all the inputs and output ports. Only we give the transformations in the maplet. So next, what is a maplet? Maplets are reusable objects that represent collection of transformations. A maplet is a reusable object that we create in the maplet designer. See here, we can, this is called as maplet designer. We can create our uh, maplet in the maplet designer. So now it contains a set of transformations and lets us reuse the transformation logic in multiple mappings. If suppose we are given here any transformation logic, we can use the transformation logic in many mapping designers. What is the difference between reusable transformation and maplet? Any Informatica transformation created in the transformation developer are a non-reusable prom prom promoted to reusable transformation from the mapping designer which can be used in multiple mappings is known as reusable transformation. So a reusable transformation is nothing but and in any informatica transformation created in the transformation developer or non-reusable promoted to reusable transformation. If suppose we see here whatever things we are created in the transformation developer or if see here we open this we can make as a reusable. This also becomes a reusable component. So that is telling here the designer which can be used in the multiple mappings is known as a reusable transformation. When we add reusable transformation to a mapping, we actually add an instance of transformation. Since the instance of reusable transformation is a pointer to the transformation. When we change the transformation in the transformation developer, its instance reflect these changes. Understood? So when we add any reusable transformation to mapping, so we actually add instance to the transformation only. Since the instance of reusable transformation is a pointer to the transformation, when we change the transformation in the transformation developer, its instances reflect these changes. A maplet is a reusable object created in maplet designer only. So which contains a set of transformations and let's use let us use reuse the transformation logic in multiple mappings a maplet can contain as many as transformations as we need like a reusable transformation when we use a maplet in mapping we use an instance of the maplet and any change made to the maplet in maplet designer is inherited by all instances of the maplet if suppose if see here we have created a maplet in the maplet designer if we did any changes in the maplet so that automatically reflect to the wherever we are using that maplet in the transformation maplet is one or more transformations set of transformations that are reusable but a reusable transformation only one transformation if suppose if see here, here we are having this transformation developer which is a reusable. 
so it's only one thing we can create here any one any one so but any one we can create here but in the maplet designer we can create a set of transformations only one transformation single transformation which is reusable what are the transformations that are not supported in maplet so this is a very important interview question we have to keep in mind that is normalizer cobol sources xml sources xml source qualifier target definitions pre and post session stored procedures and other maplet non reusable sequence generator transformations powermart 3.5 style lookup transformations and xml source definitions these cannot be used in the maplet so what are the transformation that are not supported in maplet means you have to keep in mind normalizer cobol sources xml sources xml source qualifier target definition pre and post session store procedure other maplets other maplet sense we cannot use and we cannot use non reusable sequence generator transformations also so and is it possible to convert reusable transformation transformation to non reusable transformation one so re reusable transformations are created in the transformation developer another way is to promote a non reusable transformation in a mapping or maplet to reusable one converting a non reusable transformation into reusable transformation not reversible so when we have to create a transformation we can convert into reusable but when we are converted into that reusable it, it cannot be converted into normal transformation so non reusable thing so which is not reversible but we can use the reusable transformation as a non reusable one in any mapping or maplet by dragging selected reusable transform from the repository navigator and press the control key just before dropping the object in the maplet or mapping designer so this is keep in mind so we can reusable so which is not re re reversible but we having a, a uh, when, we are, when we are having we can use the tra reusable transformation as non reusable when one in any mapping or maplet by dragging the selector reusable transform from the repository navigator and repository nav and and press the control key and press the control key just before dropping the object in the maplet or mapping designer the same the same applies for creating non reusable session from the reusable one in the worklet or workflow designer what is the use of maplet and worklet in a project so maplet and worklet allow you to create reusable objects and this make your informatica code reusable just like a procedure or function in a procedural language we can build a maplet or worklet to incorporate a business logic which can be used again and again in different mapping and workflow so we we seen in the programming language c or c++ or java or oracle anything we are having function and procedure languages so whenever we are created that those things we can reuse that, that functional procedure language at any time like that we will reuse maplet and worklets in the transformation maplet can be created in power center designer and reused in mappings worklet can be created in workflow manager and reused in workflows you see here we can create the maplet in the maplet designer so if suppose we go the workflow workflow manager so here we we can create the worklet designer and we here we create the task developer task developer means only one task we can uh, reuse the we can reuse workflow designer a set of uh, uh, sessions can be reused here is it possible to have a maplet within a maplet and worklet within a worklet yes 
Informatica does not support maplet within a maplet transformation, but it supports worklet within a worklet. Okay, if this is keep in mind. This both are reusable components, but we have to keep in mind that is Informatica does not support maplet within a maplet transformation but it supports worklet within a worklet so this is regarding interview questions of maplet and worklet the reusable components please subscribe and like for more informatica interview videos as well as iics uh, tutorial classes i am starting so two classes uh, i have finished and I will do uh, for coming four or five days all the transformation in the IACS also. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Thank you very much.